2022. They need 108. 108. And Maranka picked up 123 in the first round. It sounds like a foregone conclusion. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> well, I told you anything can happen. Has he just thrown the title away? Has he thrown the title away? The coaches think he has. That is an absolute hammer blow for Clements Maranka. He's done almost exactly the same as Tommy Morgenstern did in Tauplitz, but he recovered well. 93 metres, 93 metres, the difference. They had 30 points in hand, and he survives. Heart attack time for Clements Maranka but they do survive by three metres maximum two and a half I think five points the difference 1027 to 1022 my goodness that would have been an absolute hammer blow for Poland if they'd lost that one 30 points clear I don't think it was complacency I think Clemens Maranka just trying to make sure the hardest position of all jumping last in the team when your team are leading into the final round but he survives by the skin of his teeth from 30 points ahead they end up just five points ahead so Poland take the win jumping into second place the Austrian team it was a good performance from the Austrians and a particularly good jump from Patrick Streitler who produced a jump of 104.5 meters in the first round so Austria taking the silver medal Poland taking the gold as you know and Norway coming from fifth position to take the bronze well that's the unofficial positions we'll just uh, hopefully have time to give you the confirmation there you have it Poland Austria one and two Norway in third a hundred a thousand and eleven so some uh, 16 points eight meters off the win and Finland pushed down a fourth Finland came so close a couple of really good jumps coming in from them but uh, in the end just denied and Germany who were bronze medalists last time round down in fifth position and the gold medalists from last year down in sixth Russia, the Czech Republic, Japan, France, United States all being knocked out in the first round and just having to watch Poland take the gold. Well, that's uh, all we've got time for here in Val di Fiemme. Apology for the slight delay before the start of the second jump, but they've pretty much finished on schedule, which is a rare thing with a, a ski jumping competition this year. Congratulations to Poland. They take the title. 